all comes down to the mindset. You know, when you're mm-hmm. entering the trucking industry, just like other industries, it comes down to the mindset. You brought up Michael Jordan and, you know, there were some things that happened to him while he was playing. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. uh, I think one of the famous quotes that he relied on, well, that he heard was, hey, there's no apologies in this business. You know, that's what they told mm-hmm. him. Right. But look, he still go. He this this comment happens before he wins championship, but he still goes right. on and and handles his business right. So right. it comes down to the mindset and what you were saying about hey, truck drivers, your mindset. You can make or break yourself, and it's nobody's controlling your career. You're controlling your career. You're you're mm-hmm. responsible for your results, uh, positive and negative and neutral. You're responsible for this. Right. And and I think that's the biggest takeaway that I got from this. And I don't know if there's something that you guys want to um, add before we, we log off, but, you know, the floor is open. Do you want to add, Mo? Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> I forgot. I said I forgot. Um, I just want to say just, you know, I always say this, like, have fun, you know, have fun. It's, it's your moment, you know, enjoy the ride and just be nice to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Even though you're upset, just, you know, there's no, there's no winning other than being nice. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause sometimes I know my husband gets upset, but I just tell him, you know what, just, just let it go. Cause at the end of the day, you know, we're together and we're still here working. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. No, no, I'm listening. Go ahead. Um, one one thing that I, I want to say is that um, one thing that we're going to be doing in, in the future, and we're working on it now, and I told you, like, our, our uh, YouTube, not our, it's her YouTube. Yeah, I just happen to be. Uh, <laughs> uh, I thought of something else I want to say, too. But um, what I said, how we we have more people kind of come to us and ask, you know, what are you guys doing? How can I do that? How can I be? Um, they think they, a lot of people want to know where do you work? They look at our video, they look at our life, our lifestyle. And, and uh, they look at, where do you work at? RNL. Okay. I'm going to go to RNL and I'm going to have a beautiful life. Mm. You know, you know, we're going to live great. We're going to live like they do, however they think we live, um, however they think our relationship is, and they think it's that's it. You know, we'll go to r and and everything's going to be great. But what we're trying to, what we're going to try to do in the near future is help people with the, the lifestyle that we have and we live is based off other things. And especially in trucking, um, uh, you, you want to have, if you're buying trucks or you're, you're hauling freight, uh, one big thing is, is, uh, money. If you, if you're an owner operator, a lot of people fail because they'll buy a truck. There, there's a lot of companies out there that will give somebody with bad credit, a 36% loan, a 38% loan, because they know they're going to make a lot of money. Mm. They charge them a weekly payment. And they know they take that money weekly and they know they know they're going to at least cover that payment. They don't care if he has ten dollars left right. because he's paying 38 uh, percent interest and he's got a junky truck that's breaking down. Now, the guy had bad credit to begin with to get the 38 percent. Now, when the truck breaks down, he needs seven thousand. Then the truck sits in Utah and he just goes home and quits. Right. So we're going to start. We're going to we're going to promote more on um, not getting that 38% uh, interest. If you want to buy a truck, we'll show you the way to fix your credit and have a, get it to where you, you have a 700 credit score and you can get a 7% rate Mm. and, and you, and, and help them get, show them the way to get, uh, financing for their business for their LLC right. where they have credit cards so if they do break down if they do need seven thousand dollars they can hand over a card and get it fixed and get down the road there's a lot of good truck drivers one thing I took training the heart and all those people a good trainer 
if they have students, they, they're almost like their kids. Mm. And whether they, if, if I had a guy that was 65 years old, it was still like he was my kid after that. Mm. You know, I wanted to help him along and make sure he did well. And um, I forgot where I was going with that, what I was talking about. But uh, you was talking about helping people with the, you know, the high interest rates, helping them get, you know, financing mm -hmm. trucks at a lower interest rate. And I think you guys are going to put out some material for that. So Yeah, some yeah, we're going to do, we're going to, uh, we are going to have a link. We're going to have a, uh, I, I, I had my own mortgage business at one time and I did credit repair and I used to do, there's a lot of companies out there that don't know what they're doing and they charge you a ton of money. And we, we have, we were going to try to do it ourselves because we used to do it ourselves. Um, but we we're going to link them up with the, the best companies that we know of that'll get them on the right track. And, and to not, I mean, you do not, their truck drivers have enough battles, man. They have enough uphill mm -hmm. climbs. They do not need to buy no crappy truck at 38% interest, you right. know, get yeah. your get 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 we're going to promote more like get your get your stuff in line get yeah. your credit right get you some uh financing backed up to where if you have problems with that truck or if you want to if you want to go home for a month you can put that money. a lot of people i know what i was saying like there's a lot of good drivers that fail because they don't have the capital yeah. I was going to say, what's that thing your brother always, they don't have the capital. So they're, they're only in business until there's a problem. Mm. And there's a lot of problems in truck driving. Right. You know, there's right. a lot of issues, man. And you could get stuck in the snow and, uh, you know, and it's a $1,200 tow job. And what, you know, what if you have a hundred bucks, you right. know, and you're know. three weeks into the, you know, there's, there's a lot of good people that, come in and out of trucking and they're gone mm -hmm. and never come back because they didn't have a good platform mm -hmm. to, to succeed. And if they did, I'm talking about some good truck drivers, you know, I'm talking about people that would have been really good for the business and they're just gone because like I said, you don't have enough people telling them positive, telling them the right thing right. to do. I talked to a guy that was uh, ran for Landstar. And I was thinking about going to Landstar at one time. And everybody know they're they pretty much for owner operators. They're one of the companies out there that are that gives the driver a bigger percentage of the pay. You know, you you can make a lot of good money at Landstar. Like if you work for a company, teams can make a quarter million a year um, as a team. If you go to Landstar and do it right, you can be a solo driver and make a quarter million a year. And I was talking to this guy, we were both broke down in Ontario, California. And I was talking to him about it. And he said, you know what, Pat? He goes, and this is that 80, 20 thing. Mm -hmm. He goes, you know, that 80% of our drivers don't make any money. He mm -hmm. said, they're all owner operators. They have a platform there that they're giving all the money. They're making all the money. You know, they don't have many barriers. And he goes, most of them don't make money and they think like I said with the the new driver with the CDL mm -hmm. he thinks I got my CDL I'm going to be successful he said they come here and they do stupid stuff you mm -hmm. know they do one stupid thing after another and they don't make any money so that's what we want to tell people like we don't want to give them false hopes like them seeing us and oh they're going to come to r and &L. they're going to get yeah. married they're going to get their wife to drive they're going to come to r &L, which we have a lot of those we have a lot of husband and wives that came to R and L and they're driving right now. Sure. And then we're going to live this fairy tale life. If they think what we have is a fairy tale life mm -hmm. to them, I'm not saying right. we're, you know, um, but it's not all that. There, it, we're, we want to show them that there, we have a foundation that we use and it's, it's uh, you have to have a platform, a, a foundation, mm -hmm. and then you grow from there. And, and you have to have your credit in line, especially if you go to if you go to do an owner operator and you have crappy credit, you're only in it until a breakdown. Right. And nobody cares about you. You know, nobody cares about you. You break down and you have crappy credit and you're out in Idaho somewhere 
you know, it's like what I told you about on the board, how they can't discriminate against you. Right. You know, your numbers show and you're strong. You know, anybody will help you. Anybody will give you a loan because you show you're strong. Well, when you break down with a truck and they run your credit and you have crappy credit and you're broke down and you have $100, nobody wants to help you. You right. know, there, there's nowhere to go, you know, right. so you don't stand a chance. And there, we lose good drivers like that every year. I mean, good drivers, and they go home heartbroken, and they they really wanted to do it, but they don't. They don't. They didn't stand a chance to begin with. So we're gonna we're gonna start uh, putting that out a little bit more, and just letting people know that, uh, you know, if you if if you if you want this story that you see. Um, this is the whole story. You know, this is, this is the whole story. We have a, we have a foundation. We have a, 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 a means of like in our company, we're not paying a truck payment. We're not paying the interest rate. You know, we're, we're with a good company. If you have a good, that's why I tell people get, make sure you have a good driving record. Don't rush, don't rush through training. Don't, don't run into trailers. Don't rip your review mirrors off. Don't, because then, and you know, you get a little bit of experience. You can come to a company like ours and you could make a team, the teams at our company make 200 to 250,000 a year as a team. And they're, they're W2. You know, they're W2. That's a lot of money. <laughs> we don't pay for tires. We don't pay right. for gas. Right. And another thing, I said, well, we were owner operators. We were off eight to 10 days out of the year. We're off, last year, we were off 148 days. Mm, as, we, as company drivers. As, as W-2 drivers as W2. with no, no tires, no gas. And we were home 140 days out of the mm -hmm. year. You know, that's, that's huge, you know. Definitely so. And you was home for the, you was, it looks like you guys were home for Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we had four days off for Thanksgiving. We're going to have four days off for Christmas. And right. we're going to have four days off for New Year's. And we're going to get paid for it. So, yeah. So, no, so this video alone is going to have a lot of uh, people following you guys to the company. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, because people are going to say, man, you know, but I get it. You know, humans say, they'll look at something, they say, man, if it's working for them, it can work for me, right, which it right. can, but you have to have a positive mindset right. to duplicate, you know, to result. Well, yeah. That that thing is too, if you don't have a positive mindset, you ain't gonna make it in anything. That, that's, that's like I said, you you're I, I could tell what type of person you were when we got connected, when we had a problem. Oh. Because it's easy for someone without a positive mindset to give up on that. Oh, these guys are jerking around with me. They're not taking right. me serious. I got other stuff to do, you know. And uh, so you, whether you're doing this channel or whatever you do, if you start a landscape company, you're probably going to do really good at it. Right, right. Because your mindset, your attitude is the same way. If you sit there and kick yourself, and you're going to go down. You know, you're, anybody's going to go down. And even like you said, a, a positive person, oh, I got my CDL, my grandma's happy, my grandma gave me $100 when I left, I'm going to drive a truck, and I've been wanting to do, they get to the school, and three days later, they're leaving. Forget mm -hmm. this, I quit. Mm -hmm. You know, because they have all that negative, all that negative, man. I tell people, I, got, I went through two months, I didn't hear one positive thing. And my, my trainer tried to kick me off the truck all the time. He'd yeah, I'd grind his gears. He'd yell at me. He called me racist. He said I was <laughs> racist. And I'm like, racist? How am I racist? And, and then he said, he, like halfway through, he's like, you're just saying that because I'm uh, my, my, my dad's black or something. And I'm like, or my mom's white. I thought he was a black guy. You know, and he right. goes, you're just doing that because my mom's white. I'm like, your mom's white? I'm like, really? I'm like, I like you a lot better now. I, <laughs> I mean, I said, hey, man, I've been married for 20 years and I got three kids. There ain't nothing you're going to say to hurt my feelings. I ain't getting off this truck. 
I'm gonna make it through this. I'm gonna make it through with you, whether you like it or not. You, you, you ain't gonna you, you ain't gonna run me out of here. 